Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Qasim Koso YouTube channel. Today, we bring you important news from Manila. The Asian Development Bank, or ADB, has approved a $400 million concessional loan to support the reconstruction of houses and community infrastructure in Sindh that were severely damaged by the devastating floods in 2022. This initiative, known as the Sindh Emergency Housing Reconstruction Project, aims to rebuild flood-damaged houses and community infrastructure, helping to restore livelihoods and strengthen communities' resilience against future climate change-induced natural hazards. The project is a key part of ADB's broader response to Pakistan's flood crisis, forming part of their commitment to provide $1.5 billion in total assistance from 2023 to 2025. Yevgeny Zhukov, ADB Director General for Central and West Asia, emphasized the project's importance, stating that it will help rebuild homes and communities and restore essential services in Sindh. Sindh sustained about 83% of the total housing damage from the 2022 floods, with around 2.1 million houses either fully destroyed or damaged. Many victims are still living in inadequate, temporary shelters without essential services like water, sanitation, and electricity. This project will provide conditional cash grants for the reconstruction of 250,000 houses with multi-hazard resilient designs. It will also support community-driven construction of infrastructure, such as drinking water facilities, sanitation, covered drainage, and renewable energy solutions for 100,000 households in around 1,000 flood-damaged villages in Sindh. Additionally, the project will offer conditional cash grants for livestock, agriculture, small enterprises, and e-commerce, promoting community-led climate resilience and disaster risk management strategies. Srinivas Sampath, ADB Director for Water and Urban Development, highlighted that this support will not only help Pakistan build back better but also prepare for future hazards. ADB is closely coordinating with other development partners to support the government's recovery and reconstruction priorities. This comprehensive approach supports the government's resilient rehabilitation, reconstruction, and recovery strategy, ensuring that investments across sectors complement each other. A $500,000 technical assistance grant will further enhance the government's operational capabilities in procurement, safeguard compliance, and technical and financial management. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth news on our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Kasim Koso YouTube channel for more important stories.